Hello, everybody. I finally updated OBS, and it runs so much more smoothly. Uh, well, we're entering back into Hitman 3 with, um... So, right, as I was saying, we're entering back into Hitman 3. This is fucking... Wow. We're entering back into Hitman 3 with Bangkok. Say it with me. Or, I, the, the camera's here. Say it with me. Bangkok! Sorry, I'm just so excited. I finally redid each level in Hitman 2. I don't have my progress back, but I've beaten, I don't know, whatever. I'll film you some of the progress that I'm doing. I'll do like videos for individual challenges. I'll do live streams, blah, 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 yak, 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 whatever. We're just going to have some fun here. Club 27. So... fucking loud. So, what should we be? Ooh, a turtleneck. Do I want the 47 signature suit, Requiem suit, tactical turtleneck, or do I want the clown suit? You guys know me, I want the clown suit, man. Ugh. Um... We're going with our uh, default loadout, and we're going on casual mode, guys. This is so fun. So, our targets. We have to kill Jordan Cross, some stupid millennial hipster guy. He's already the most killable person in the game, so I don't have to describe why. And Ken Morgan, a cartoonish lawyer, um, who sounds like Barnacle Boy, or Mermaid Man from uh, Spongebob. I don't know why we have to kill him. Probably because he's a lawyer, but, you know. Jordan Cross and Ken Morgan. Welcome to Bangkok, 47. Ken Morgan has booked the Queen Suite, but is yet to check in. You will find him in and around the... Okay, why wasn't it skipping, even though I was... Welcome to Hitman? Yeah, welcome to Hitman 2. <laughs> this is Hitman 3. Um, alright, so, um... Ooh, our target's right over there. You didn't hear Miss. You didn't hear this from me, but I don't know how to play the game right. That is Ken the Brick, lawyer and corporate fixer. All right, guys, we win. Uh, can you please stop shooting at me? Yeah, I'm gone. All right. Guys, I don't know where he went. Ow! 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 ow. Okay, um, how is this working? Yeah, whatever. Now we're safe. Fuck, fuck. No, we're not. No, no. Um, the wall! Urgh. I'm on the wrong side of the level. Excuse me. I'm I'm gonna head up to the queen seat and see if I can. Where do you think you're, sir? This is a restricted area. I can't have any witnesses. Okay. Boom. Now we have to go to downstairs. Go all the way across and get to the Jordan Cross guy. Get it? Across, cross. No, 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 no. 
Just shoot me, you idiots. If you're telling me that this is how I'm going to win, I don't believe you. No? That's rude. You're not the boss of me. Ooh, Dexy Barrett. Alright, bye. Oh, fuck. We're gonna regret this. Where is he? Where is he? Where is, where is Jordan Cross? Do you know where Jordan Cross is? Can you tell me? Oh, I see him. I see him. Dude, no way. I actually have a chance. No, you aren't. Oh, Lord. What have I done? Bye. 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 Fuck. <laughs> Alright, so that's not how you play the game. I don't even know what I just did. That is not how you Welcome play the game. Bangkok, We're back to normal. Is there a duck? Welcome. I don't know. Good to see you. He has a deep fucking voice, oh my god. I'm gonna sneak downstairs. Sneaky clown, sneaky clown. Oh, I'm not trespassing. Bro, oh, I was a waste of nothing. Me, I have a selective carry. Mama, ma, I came here searching for a heart of gold. Yeah, I sounded like a, um,. God, I love listening to those guys. Sir. I dropped a coin. Wanna go get it? Here. Alright, so, uh, everybody in this game doesn't know how to hear anything. We're getting a disguise, you know. Wouldn't I be able to hide behind these racks, though? And on with it. Shit! <laughs> that was kind of funny how he just went, shit. <laughs> anyway, 
It's as easy as pi. Well, well, not the math number. That's all confusing and shit. Whatever. Blah 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 blah. Oh yeah, it's an it's it's easy as shit. So where's that money that he left? Thanks for the money. All right. So back to what I was saying beforehand. Before that little fucking bitch interrupted me. Um. Yeah, my name is a uh, finger. You know. Nobody suspected a thing. Nobody saw me. Ah, no, I don't want to be spotted. Leave. Well, that's not nice. All right, we're better now. <laughs> I'm still out here, you idiot. Ooh. Ooh. Anyway, so now we have to go down to the linen room. Me linen room. Uh, I hope it wasn't disgusting. Ooh, a master key card. Ooh, a bunch of coins. Dude. I'm already going to make all of the money. Yeah, I don't have to worry about who the clients are and what they're going to be paying me for if I can successfully kill Morgan and Cross. I only have to worry about all the coins that I'm just picking up out of nowhere. That's, um, that's going to make me rich. Seriously. This room is closed off. Vegetarians and monogamous. I love you. Can you please get out of my face? Well, Ooh, a talk talk. I've got to give you that. Look, I can fix this. I'm homing in on the problem. I just gotta. Damn it! Yeah. Are you sure you don't want a ride home? It's not about that. There's this guest. Big shot lawyer fella up in the Queen Suite. He offered to buy it. This, this piece of crap for like an obscene Don't keep it so close to this, um... I just gotta get the engine running. Gasoline thing. wants to buy your crummy old... According to the hotel gardener... Ken this is gonna be fun. To his age. Tick tock. <laughs> Tourists, right? They just love us. Tourist, right? <laughs> Ugh. Okay, that just made me nauseate. Wow. Alright, so, um. Barnacle Man, Mermaid Boy, wants to buy the Tuk Tuk. I'm taking that wrench, by the way. Right? So we have to fix the Tuk Tuk. And then puncture the gas so that he's gonna burn up when he uses it. He's gonna die. Yeah, guys, I'm not suspicious for um, it just randomly fixing, just randomly walking up to this tuk tuk with a um, with a wrench and then fixing it. But whatever. That guy is one of Jordan Cross's bodyguards. Come on, Just I can get up to Ken Morgan's... Er, fuck. Wrong guy. Boom! Fuck yes. Now Ken Morgan should be on his way to, um, see the crummy old tuk-tuk. Or the quote, crummy old tuk-tuk. It's probably a really good tuk-tuk, and I just don't know about it. Um, what do you guys think? Uh, do any of you guys think that this tuk-tuk was actually supposed to be good? 
You know, there's a really cool thing that I like to do as a pastime in Hitman. I sometimes like to... Well... It's hard to describe it. But I sometimes like to play mission stories without killing the targets and see what that does. Haven Island is probably my favorite map for that. Um... Because of the Ludmia Vetrova one, where you have to find the USB stick. Um, yeah, I found the USB stick and did that conversation at all. It's a really fucking great game. This is why I love Hitman. Um, but yeah. Anyways, I have a master key card, a wrench, a screwdriver some rat poison. I have everything that I could- <laughs> That was a weird sneeze. Out of place, I guess, I'd say. But I have everything in case I want to kill little Crossy the fucking millennial. Also, it's really cold in here. Um, so... I'm gonna rub up while I wait. <sighs> it's really cold in here, so I'm gonna rub up while I wait for Ken Morgan. And he usually takes fucking forever to get here, so... Yeah. I could go ahead and make some couscous and snack on it. In the meantime, and Ken Morgan probably still would never show up. But, I mean, God knows that we've got to wait for fucking Ken Morgan. Oh. Oh, yeah. I see you. Come to Papa. I used a wrench to fix it. Currently busy. Yeah. Ugh. Sudsy. All right, uh, Thank God this isn't 2001 uh, anymore. Yeah, or 2021. Uh, please, uh, you, do the honors. you know, I think this would be an actually cool tuk-tuk to drive around in. For a big shot fucking lawyer. Oh! Like nothing ever happened. He just went up in flames. Yeah, come in, Central. I'm at the location. Now. Yeah, we have the master key card, so. Ah! Don't spot me! I didn't get spotted. The lounge! They closed it off! Yeah, they closed it off. Dun, 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 dun. Sanguine. Paris. Oh, we're not allowed we're now allowed up in Jordan Cross's get get up. Say what? Say what? Ted Mendez. Don't ask why I said Ted Mendez. You won't get it yet. You guys wanna see how I can get these guys to fuck off right now? Yeah, boom. Now they won't suspect me. And they didn't even spot me, so... Yeah, 
Yeah, that's how you can easily get them the fuck right off. I'll give you the short version, darling. Sir. Nobody gets in or out except for VIPs and crew. <laughs> no hotel staff security. I guests, hate this no how bitch. The band she is always an enforcer when not on casual mode. You're an enforcer. I don't like you. But yeah, I fucking hate her. Her name is Dexy Barrett. Um, for those who don't know, and basically the reason why she's so, um, horrible is, um, it's because of this thing where one of the things involves you dressing up as the drummer for the band, which hasn't met Jordan Cross yet, the new drummer, and kind of looks like you, and you have to dress up as him, and then... Well, yeah, that's a whole mission story. But yeah, Dexy Barra is an enforcer. She will spot you if you're dressed up as him. Um, and on any difficulty but casual, she will immediately be able to spot you if you're as a recording crew. She's not as bad as Miss Mujaki, the hotel manager, who can spot you in literally any disguise except for your normal disguise, your normal clothing on, like, master mode. Let's go again. All right, so Mr. Jordan Cross, Tren Poe. All right. Uh, West bought a Branson MD2. Yep. Also known as Old Sparky. Almost bankrupted Branson Tech back in the day. Yeah, well, why would Wes want to use a mic with an attorney? Yeah, yeah, no, 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 stop. Look, it, look, this is just... Let me do some drinking. Both targets down. Now head towards an exit. Wow. That was kind of badass. If I do say so myself. Hold on. Isn't there, like, a... A challenge for okay yeah fuck yeah wow we absolutely destroyed this mission I'm not even sure if we got spotted doing anything illegal during it. No, we did get spotted by that one guy, but like... Wow. I'm not even sure I have to edit this. This is like... Dude! Well, bye-bye, Bangkok. We just perfected you. Clean ICA assassin. We didn't get silent assassin, okay, um, understandable, but we did fucking great. So. Ooh, undercover at the Hitmapan as a waiter. I like that. The body of billionaire media mogul Thomas Cross was discovered earlier this evening, slain by multiple gunshot wounds. Cross was scandalously kidnapped this morning. Interesting. This was no coincidence. Not by a long shot. 
Thomas Cross had billions in hidden offshore accounts, all stripped clean within hours of the kidnapping. Someone wanted the son dead to lure out the father. Someone smart enough to stay in the shadows while we did the wet work, and the Highmores picked up the check. A shadow client. Someone got rich. The contract was just. That was a sound problem. I know you don't care about politics, 47. But ICA is neutral, or as has been. I know. We can't allow ourselves to be manipulated. Besides... It's happened before. Italy. Morocco. Paris. Wait. All our clients got their intel the same way. Anonymous tips from a hidden source. Each contract perfectly legit. Yet part of a grander design. I don't see the pattern. Somebody does. The board has asked us to chase down this shadow client, and our analysts are closing in as we speak. I know that tone. Someone's playing a game, 47. The question is... against whom? That cutscene always blows my mind every time I play. So, all of these people that we've killed so far were part of a grander scheme. Someone has been giving out, you know, like private information. Someone has been dealing in private information to tell us the ICA. Hey, these, hey, this guy is an asshole. Hey, this guy is also an asshole. This guy just as well happens to also be an asshole. Kill all of these people. And us killing them, thinking, well, yeah, the, these guys clearly are assholes. Um, but what if I told you that someone else is an asshole. Okay, this is a weird way to think about it, but um, hang on with me. What if I told you that someone really hates rich people out there and is causing us, the ISA, to be, repeat, ISA, whatever, and is causing us, the ICA, to repeatedly murder these targets, these people? What if they are doing this as a trap? We'll find out in the next level just who this person is. Uh, good morning.